Start with using straight lines to try to place the eyeball. Then you can see I realized my eye's too large, so I erased it and made it a little bit smaller. Then I place where the crease goes, and now I'm coming in and just foundation values that takes the longest. I'm trying to make it nice and smooth. Go in and now I'm doing my mid-tones. So these are about a four to seven tone. Take your time, make it smooth. Now I'm gonna go back in and do my darker tones. So I'm using actually a 4B pencil here. Now when it comes to the detail of the iris, it is inconsistency that actually makes it look more accurate. So if you're able to zoom in, you can see that those dashes I'm adding inside the eye are more like scribbles, but they're purposefully placed. Oh, there's a good view. See what I'm talking about? So separating your lines, it's less application work, but more intentional placement of where those dashes should go to try to look, make it look realistic. And then as you go along, if you realize you're losing some value, then um, push down a little bit harder. And here I go in with that weird reflection. Now, if you've noticed, I have not put the eyelashes in yet. You do that at the very end. And your eyelashes are more like very long, skinny triangles. And when the eyelash connects to the eyelid, it'll get a little bit thicker. The bottom eyelashes are just straight lines. Pay attention to the direction they're going. That's it.